We've taken a little road trip down to Bulverhive, uh, which is between Hastings and Bex Hill. Uh, it just offers a really good alternative actually to fishing some of the Hastings beaches that are a lot busier in summer. And as you'll see in a minute, it's got a really interesting mix of uh, sand, shingle and rocks uh, to fish from and lots of different species. So we're moving down the coast road here, east to west on the A259 and if you're coming from the north, uh, the main sort of roads are the A21, A22. You can get here via the train, West St Leonard's is the nearest station but it is a bit of a walk, it's about 15 minutes. Now this has got to be <laughs> the most um, dull approach <laughs> to a mark I think I've ever done. We're actually sat out on the Bexhill Road here. I want to be going across this bridge. Uh, when you do get up to the top, you'll see it, things get a little bit more interesting for us anglers. Uh, this is Bridge Way. This is the approach to the mark. Uh, you go over this bridge here, the railway bridge. I don't walk that fast, really. So this is your looking back at the way we've just come up on the bridge for your parking. And then when you get up at the top of the bridge, you've got the train track, obviously, but you can look down on the mark and you can see here that's a lot better than the way we've come. Possibly want to travel light, maybe along the coastal path by bike. So as you can see, you've got flat sand there. You've got a bit of uh, surf running as well. It's always going to produce, produce a surf in parts. You've got rocky reefs, boulders and man-made boulders as well. Just quickly taking a look at the nearest angling shops. You've got Hastings Angling Centre, that's down in the Bourne, back in Hastings, uh, TN34 3AY. And the other alternative to that would be Paul's Tackle. Uh, not open at the moment, uh, maybe worth giving him a ring or uh, checking him on Facebook. Yeah, so looking, looking over the mark here, you can see the railway track runs at the back. And then what I tend to do is check out this mark at low tide or look here on Google Earth. You can see all those little reefs um, a lot of those boulders are actually man-made to combat the longshore drift and the coastal erosion here and you can see that it's like a flat section of beach that will run very f where the tide will race in quickly uh, and then you've got a little bit of shelving there where it hits the shingle and this mark is where the Amsterdam was wrecked you can actually see it on very low spring tides it does get covered over by sand and, and stuff. So looking at the beach here, you want to pick your mark uh, around those boulders and rocks. I mean, you can fish right onto the rough stuff here, but you're probably better laying a bait as close to the boulders as you can. And as for the species, uh, it is very well known as a bass mark here. There have been some huge bass caught. You do have to put in the hours. Flounder, place, dab, and soles as well at night. Um, your normal south coast baits of, of lug uh, maddies if you can get them as well are a good addition. Just where the bridge finishes there's this little platform here. Um, it's not ideal to fish from, I mean I'm casting from it but it's not ideal to fish from because uh, first of all you're only into the high tide water here and you do get a lot of um, people coming up and walkers and stuff like that and uh, dog walkers of so I've come down on this little themselves. jetty here uh, the tide's right up onto the rocks here as you can see uh, so we're just going to fish off here it's a handy little platform and then we'll follow the tide out and fish the ebb right let's get set up I'm just going to use this three ounce one uh, just to drop a big bait I've got that right down against these rocks I think I suppose if there is a bass here they'll be working along this uh, seeing if there's anything coming out of the rocks to be honest though it's it's a little bit early for bass here I think let's give it a go and then these boulders here you don't want to get stuck obviously in and around those because they're horrible things I mean you, if you're not going to drop stuff in the gaps um, dangerous when you're climbing over them so do try and avoid those if you're fishing at you know, the tide up quite high. Well, nothing from me today, but this has got huge potential here. I've heard of some really good catches. If you fished it, then please let us know. And thanks very much for watching.